Imagine you're in the middle of World War II, millions of lives hang in the balance, and the fate of the war depends on cracking a single machine. A machine so clever, its code was said to be unbreakable. That machine was Enigma. In the 1920s, a German engineer named Arthur Scherbius invented Enigma, a typewriter-like device with rotating wheels called rotors. Each keystroke scrambled letters into a cipher, and with trillions of possible settings, it seemed impossible to decipher without the exact key. By the time the Nazis rose to power, Enigma became the heartbeat of German military communication, from U-boats in the Atlantic to troops across Europe. But even before the war began, in a quiet office in Poland, three brilliant mathematicians, Marian Rajewski, Jerzy Rosicki, and Henrik Zygalski, began chipping away at the puzzle. Using math, logic, and their own homemade replicas of Enigma, they managed to read some German messages. When Germany invaded Poland in 1939, the Poles shared everything with Britain and France, a gift that would change history. In Britain, a secret team gathered at Bletchley Park, mathematicians, linguists, chess champions, and puzzle lovers. Among them was Alan Turing, a quiet genius with an unshakable focus. He designed the Bombay, an electromechanical machine that could test Enigma settings at incredible speed. Day and night, the team worked in absolute secrecy, decoding enemy plans in time to redirect convoys, foil attacks, and outmaneuver U-boats. By 1941, they were reading German naval messages almost daily. This intelligence, codenamed Ultra, became one of the Allies' greatest weapons. Historians believe cracking Enigma shortened the war by at least two years, saving millions of lives. When the war ended, the work at Bletchley Park remained secret for decades. Many who broke Enigma returned to ordinary lives, their heroism unknown. But the story of Enigma is more than just about machines and codes, it's a reminder that sometimes, the quietest battles, fought in hidden rooms, can decide the fate of the world.